Hey there YouTube, um, Andy here from Custom Carving. Um, I've just finished a carving of an elephant. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you uh, click back through and have a look. But I think it looks pretty good. Now, the only thing that I'm not completely happy with is the eyes at the moment. So um, if you're anything like me, that is something that you probably struggle with when it comes to carving, is making eyeballs seem realistic. So what I've done, I've actually ordered some concave diamond burrs, um, which should help create that eyeball shape. Now they come in a range of sizes uh, from really tiny as in like one mil, why you'd want eyeballs quite that small I don't know, uh, up to a reasonable size I would say of around about seven or eight mil. So I'm going to try all those out now in the workshop just to give these a test and see what sort of effect they have and give them a bit of a, a review. There will be a link in the description as well if you're interested in buying them and trying them for yourself uh, but let's see how they get on. So here we are in the workshop. These are the birds you get. I think all in there's 12 of them of different sizes. Honestly though, I think there's only gonna be about four that I'm gonna use um, just based on the size. If you like the music in the background, it's another track that I came up with for the uh, elephant carving video. If you've not watched it, watch it and you'll hear the full track. So this is the largest. It's probably going to be the one that I uh, anticipate using the most. And this one is the smallest, which I'll probably use the least. Again, why you'd want them quite so tiny, I don't know, but I might play around with it, see if I can make some cool shapes with it. Um, so that, that way I can at least use most of them. But they just look like um, cone-shaped diamond-coated bears going to be putting these in my uh, Dremel 4000 with the flex shaft, um, what I normally use for carving. Top tip for you, if you do use the uh, quick change release, always get a pair of pliers, it just helps tighten it up. So I'm just going to use this cheap piece of uh, CLS timber um, that I've got lying around just to test this out. I've got the speed set to around about 25 to 30,000. At this point, realised that I haven't plugged it in, but now it's plugged in and we're all good to go. Has no problem going into the wood, which was one of my concerns, if I'm being honest, with it just being a diamond coated burr. Here's me just playing around with the edge to see if I can make a cool edge pattern with it as well. But you keep on going. Elephants are amazing in the brain, they're glowing. If we can carve it, you can too. We'll stop the showing. Cause some carving UK is sorry. All in that, it made some nice, neat, sort of dome shaped circles, which is just what I wanted it to do for eyeballs. Um, and yeah, I think it'd be quite a good little tool. Again, I was just showing you some different bits and bobs that I did uh, the other day in, in a burr review video that I did, but this looks really good actually for eyeballs. I'm going to move these out of the way and actually test uh, another one out, which is slightly more cone shaped, just to see if that has any different results. 
as you can see it's more, more of a cone shape this one I was actually thinking would be really cool if I carved a comedian let us know in the comments what you think and what you want us to carve next Your Dremel flex sharp, let's begin. Cussle burrs at the ready, let's carve an elephant. If we can carve it, you can too. Custom carving UK, it's up to you. The first cut is the deepest, just keep going. Elephants are amazing, let's keep showing. We're trying it at a bit of an angle as well, see if you'd still get that cone shape, which it seems like you do. Look how we're growing Under the studio Lights are elephant comes true Dust flying everywhere Yet we push on through With each pass and swipe Our vision's clear Details to find And magic appears The first cut is Yeah, again, it makes a good shape And I'm sure with these birds There'll be something that I'll use Either to pattern wood, if not for eyeballs, but I think they'd be really useful for eyeballs. Now, just going to try and carve a simple eye and see what happens. As you can tell, I'm no artist. We're trying to get it as central as possible. We're crafting with care, cuts all burrs, cutting through the grain. Watch the magic, let go of the mundane. Feel every groove, our passion's bright. Lines and curves taking flight. Our studio lights, our dreams ignite. In this carving life, we set our sights. The first cut is the deepest. Now, you could just leave it like that. It still looks like an eye. Um, but what I decided to do is just get one of my little pointy shaped diamond burrs to take away the excess either side of the eye in the, in the shape. So here we go, just using this little, again, diamond burr. And I'm going to try and take the excess away from either side of the circle that we've just created. Sorry about the camera angle as well. I've realised that I nudged it as I sat down at the workstation. So you are seeing most of it though, so it's, it's not too bad. As you can see, just going around the edge of the circle. Whenever you carve, um, as, as soon as you take the material away from either side of whatever it is you want to stand out, that's what really makes it pop. Feel the rhythm, the brain comes alive Lines and curves where our dreams thrive Hold tight, let the magic ignite In the studio lights, we cut through the night The first cut is the deepest, but you keep on going Elephants are amazing, in the brain they're glowing If we can carve it, you can too, we'll stop the showing Custom carving UK, it's our work we're showing Then the more time you spend on these things, the better they look. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to be showing you an example of what we can do. If I was actually putting it into a finished piece, I'd probably spend a lot more time just neatening it up, putting in some eyelids, things like that. Um, but I just want to see what's possible with these birds. Grab 
your Dremel Flex Sharps, let's begin. Cussle burrs at the ready, let's carve an elephant. If we can carve it, you can too. If you're finding this useful at all, please like and subscribe to the channel and share it. You know, whatever we can do to help grow this carving community together, the better. Um, as the channel grows, there'll be a lot more content coming out as well for you guys. If you haven't already, check out some of the previous videos as well. There's some really cool carvings that we've done recently and there'll be a lot more coming over the next few weeks. And the camera angles, I can promise you, is better than on this video. On through with each pass and swipe, our vision's clear. Details to find and magic appears. The first cut is the deepest, but we keep on going. Elephants are amazing in the green, they're glowing. If we can call it, this is just me trying to be a bit, bit fancy and put a few bullets as well. But yeah. As hopefully you can see, it does a pretty good job of making eyeballs a bit easier. Yeah, they felt really happy with them. I'll put the link in the description um, if you want to get yourself some. I do think they'll definitely help with uh, eyeballs or anything spherical really, um, just to help you get that real smooth surface on it. Just going to put these away and then attempt it on a three-day carve. Let's hope I don't ruin it. As you can see, this is the elephant. Um, wasn't completely happy with the eyes. I wanted to do a better job than that because for me, that was the worst part of the carving. So I'm going to try this large diamond burr. Um, try and get it in the center of the eye to make more of an eyeball shape. Let's hope I don't ruin the carving to three days away. In our studio realm, creative source. Carving elephant, some knocking doors. Every bit of dust tells our tale. With passion, we will prevail. Lies and curves, watch them unfold. And green beauty, stories told. Stay hands and focus eyes. Make our mark. So here we go. Are humming, Going straight into the center, and then I decided to angle it a little bit because of the way that the elephant's head is angled, just to try and get a bit more realism out of it. Feel the rhythm, the brain comes alive. Lines and curves where our dreams thrive. Hold tight, let the magic ignite in the studio lights. We cut through the night. The first cut is the deepest, but you keep on going. Elephants are amazing in the brain, they're glowing. If we can carve it, you can too. We stop the showing. Custom carving UK, it's our work we're showing. There we go, job done. And hopefully, I didn't ruin it. I actually think it made the eyes look a lot better. Uh, what I am going to do is just remove the excess material around it, and then I think it's a perfect eyeball. Recommend these birds.